basically, I want to talk about the possible... The, Stay close to the mic, The possibilities of music. Um, and uh, I was late for this broadcast again this morning as my colleague keeps on reminding me every week. Uh, no, John, you weren't here at all last week. That's no, what that's what uh, got me worried. I know. You were here sort of between half past ten and eleven, but which is I must tell the predictable. I must tell the audience that it's much there's I have much more responsibility now um living in my own house. I love it. You know um, I love you know it's the therapeutic aspect of it. it really it really is quite good you know it's much more easier to lead a good uh, a, a peaceful life when you've got your own house I don't have to worry about the mess I don't have to worry about I can just watch TV all day I can watch all I can watch Beverly Hills cop all day and go on the computer on the terminal is it's quite it's quite remarkable you know i can have coffee when i want i can eat when i want it's quite remarkable actually do um, you lose track of time john i do lose track of time but funny you should say that because i have a dish i've made a digital clock or i've set up my mac to specifically tell me the hour time so every time it goes into a new hour it says 13 hours 14 hours, <laughs> 15 hours, or you can set it up for to let you know half an hour, so it would say, it's now 4.30, it's now 5.30, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 5.30. Um, so basically, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's very good because I've got access to the computer, I've got it all in one lounge. It's, it's, it's wonderful, and quite frankly, I can't understand why I didn't choose the option sooner. But I can understand it. So yeah, there I'm were not, a few difficulties getting, I'm getting there. I'm not going to bother the... Sorting yourself out. I'm not going to bother the audience, but I've spent the last five years be getting prepared to actually one day live on my own. Now I'm doing it. Um, and I have to say, actually, and I'm not, I'm not going to say um, specifically why I'm saying this, but you'll work it out, the audience. I think that it's much better having the um, ha people having routines in their lives, eating salads, eating apples. You know, I, I got so fed up with all the weight, and uh, it's quite it's quite remarkable. Um, <clears throat> you know, and and I think I think it's it's very important to promote that most disabled people would. Hopefully, hopefully live on their own if they possibly can. Um, I'm not saying because it's it's quite good. Cause some people might choose to l l l um, use sheltered or slash supported accommodation for a while because it does help you find your feet. Um, but obviously, I'm very content with my new house, um, and um, there will be a housewarming at some point. Um, but I wanted to let the audience know because normally I'm quite bleak or I'm sweating or something is happening to me um, that that doesn't that causes me to be late and I think being late or acknowledging that people can be late is very important because I've you know there's been many um, broadcasts on a Wednesday morning with Wheel of Seven Eight Nine GB who's looking and sitting over there um, that I've said to him the night before that I would be there and I'm getting up early and all of this but things seem to you know come up for me like I don't know um, forgetting my phone or forgetting my forgetting my jacket or or being late for the bus stop or, or getting on the get going up the ramp and the wheel you know it's all very difficult and i would just like some acknowledgement i i presume it could be uh, partially true to some people because if because bet the bet show for those of you who know what the bet show is um it's education trade show that happens once a year in East London in Excel. So anyway, it happens in Excel. Well, there was there was one year we all told me that there was a there was a 
there was a stand, somebody uh, called Thomas Friedman, that would actually say to people, thank you for being late. So somewhere yeah. along the line in social sciences, <laughs> there, is a, there is a... There's a theory about it. There is a fit. That's what I like about it. Yeah. There is actually... John, it wasn't... Uh, just, to, just to clarify a bit, it was Coursera. Coursera were there. At, at the, yeah. the, sorry, just, just, to, just to get the information right. Learning technologies, which is going on at the moment. Yes. Coursera were there. This yeah. was a few years ago. Yeah. And that's that's where the reference came in. But I would like to say that the, that obviously, if they are talking about it as a reference or they have a theory about it, then you know a lot of people in society must be late to meetings or or late for work or uh, getting stuck in traffic or e something for yeah, their for there to be a mate for there to for people for experts to be making making a theory about it and i think it's great i would have loved yeah, but, to but john i've just to interrupt you, you you've pushed this theory yeah. far beyond far beyond anywhere that the author uh, whose book was published in 2016 Tom, thomas Friedman, yes has taken it well, because you 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 may turn up one week or you may turn up another week well it's just which is is it is is thomas Friedman. yeah but i would like is, to is, is is trying to warm up the audience yeah, but at uh, this time yeah but i would like to i would like to emphasize with um thomas Friedman because thomas Friedman is great because he proves that it is possible to turn up early and and he's uh, and he would be understanding well there is a there is a cycle of there is just stay close to the mind and but what i'm trying to what i'm trying to emphasize to will i'm not talking about thomas friedman as such but he could he could i would like to quiz him one day about this if i ever see him again um but well, he, he well, was, a, I think, was uh, he the one at bet? No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't there. Hmm. No, we just heard about him. But I think he'd, no. Just, just to just to clarify, he's he's a warm up artist. He's a keynote speaker at the Coursera event. Right. So it, as the opening speaker, he's he people keep turning up a bit late. Yeah, well, By a bit late, John. I mean within the first uh, half hour. Well, I know. But <laughs> so, <laughs> last, all I'm saying is. So what he says is that's actually a good thing. Yeah. He's trying to make the audience relax a bit. Well, I think. So he he says he gives him time to think, and yeah, he's not sure w whether what he prepared was the right thing to say. Yeah. Well, I think I think being late is actually quite quite important. There is no point people saying well. You're not welcome in this show or to work because you've just been late or you've been stuck in traffic or whatever. Um, but I think, but I think there's a certain really I like the certain respect for it. Um, but please don't copy what I tried last week and, and and said I would be there and not turn up at all. That's that's awful, and I can understand. I even had a conversation. I don't mind telling the audience because I think it's partially true, whether you say it's right or not, Will. Um, I think it's partially true. I think I think if I didn't turn up this week, I think Will would have got really, really in a mood with me and probably blanked me for the next week. Well, it just um, depends, John. Depends if you let me know. Um, if your if your phone responds, yes, I know, and I know. you don't want to talk about something else. No, that's it's really my fault. Wait. But what I would like, and now I want to switch back to Thomas Friedman. Um, anyway, the, the, anyway, thank you for being late. Is is it's got a point to it? That's all I want to say about it. I don't want to manipulate Thomas Friedman's idea, but I, but I would like to say that for somebody like me. Actually, CBI and and thank you for being late is actually CBI is 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 a neurological brain-based uh, visual visual condition. Believe it or not, it doesn't actually affect the eyes as such. But anyway, I don't want to bore you with all the neurological jargon for this. But all I'm saying is that thank you for being late and somebody like me that has spatial awareness problems, uh, perception problems. <laughs> Being late, be, having the opportunity to to actually be late and, and know what's going on in the um, you know when when I'm when I'm going into bet or other trade shows is actually very important because 
they 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 so all I'm saying is that I'm glad somebody I'm glad Thomas Friedman actually um made a theory about it and I guess you're what this is about is you're deciding whether the theory could work I guess I want to give an example when we last went to bet me we were 789 GB and Chris Norton from the wild show I ended up because I wanted to be there early before anybody else to get so I could have quiet so I knew exactly where I was going I decided to get up I decided to get up at half past seven and uh, and wheel all the way to Excel, um, but that was only so I could sit down and have a have a coffee <laughs> and uh, and have a cigarette and uh, you know so I could familiarise myself with my surroundings. Um, and and um, I remember as well that um, they also have security at Excel on the doors. Well, I had lost Will and Chris Norton, and uh, I decided to um, ask the security guard to push me and take me to exact uh, to take me to exactly where Will was, because I wanted to emphasise that I, I, if I was by myself, I would need their help. So, so if they're there to if they're there to mind what's going on, which they are, um, the stewards, um, they they shouldn't mind. Um, helping somebody who is uh, severely visually impaired to 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 take them to the right stations or take them, you know, help them around the Excel Center, and I think it, I think it's all what we should what we all should be promoting that that it's okay to ask for help. I mean, most people are very very genuine, and um, you 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 learn, I think that. Visual impairment is not so scary in the end. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about that. John, um, can I just ask a little bit how you see this working as radio? Because um, yeah, but radio, in what, ra well, in, in the what sense, aspect? Well, in the aspect that radio at the moment is sort of organised in 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 phonics case two hour chunks. Well, or, uh, not you know, be, it sort not, of starts at I'm a certain not being time. Funny, and, Will, and I don't want to say too much about the house. But I, I'm thinking about getting a door for my garage. Oh, right. So I can lock it up. Yes. And uh, my idea is to buy a mini mixer. Right. So maybe I could have, maybe I could do recordings or broadcasts from home over the internet because there are certain things that I would like to say, you know, within language terms and slang terms that I'm really not oh, allowed to use. Right, yeah, okay. On, on, on um, Phonic FM. Yeah, um, or, there or, are, or on there FM. Is, there are certain subjects that I want to cover, but right. I'm just not but allowed to... Look, yeah, well, look, um, let's just stick with time time shifting. But anyway, so, anyway, so in anyway words, John, how it fits... John, in John so, so in other words, you, you would record stuff as and when you felt like recording stuff, when it's f fitted in with yeah, the Yeah, well, really, And I'd then like it would be broadcast then, or it could be broadcast another time yeah so time wouldn't matter so much no time wouldn't matter so much and I guess people have probably gotten used to this since the I hate to bring it up but the dreadful COVID pandemic um, I think people have probably gotten used to the theory of time not meaning or meaning or, or meaning so much because they've what they've done is is they've is they've adapted because we've had COVID for the last we've been in lockdowns and out of lockdowns and not a lot, you know having to wear face masks and and so I guess that I guess maybe people have learnt to 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 because we've all had to adapt to certain things about it and I guess that could fall into radio because you you can you you don't really need necessarily all the time to do it on a FM signal you could you could do it on other sources that I will not mention because I don't want to um, offend because I love phonic FM um, so um, so I guess having the having the having the ability to be able to do recordings and keep the audience up to date with what's going on just to keep the people up to date with what's going on. I like to think that people enjoy this show and hence that's why possibly we might want to change the name in the future, which is something that we could, f that we are thinking about. And I, I think, I think if I could, 
I think if um, we could we could we could learn that visual impairment is a lot to do with spatial awareness and time anyway, because the visual impairment is is hard to you know it's sometimes it's hard to use sometimes. So I guess the time thing, the time thing from what's he called? More Thomas Friedman. Thomas Friedman is very. He, yeah, he t he's talking important. about acceleration. Yeah, well. I know he is, but I want to talk about it. We're to talk going about out of time. No, but I, I guess if what I'm saying, if there is a theory made up, yeah. then somewhere along the line, we're going to explore it. Somewhere along the line, somebody, somebody, I don't know, maybe this year, next year, is is or maybe they've already done it. Is going to explore that, and they're going to explore. Um, reality, virtual reality, uh, mind mapping tool. There are all kinds of things out there that, that could help people remember things and help people be on time. That's what it goes back to. Yeah. Well, so, by, by time, or, or just shifting times together. Yeah. Because what, you, what, you what you're describing is, is, is fine. I'm sure it's technically possible. Well, it because is Because the, the other end of it, I'm just going to say this quickly, because then I think we should play some music, is that the, the audience are not necessarily listening to radio... All the time. All the t it's, it's a like linear process. Yeah. There, there's lots of clips we could take out of the show that the audience can find whenever it suits them. Yes. So it's all breaking up in different ways. Sure. But given that this is FM, I'm going to play, play a track. Okay. And this is um, uh, Dionne Warwick. Right. 